Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can track your delivery and your order on Klarna. So let's get right into it. For this, I'll be using a article, I guess you could call it, which is on Klarna Docs and I do recommend you check it out if you have any other questions. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Now to track your delivery, it is very simple. You can do it through the Klarna app since it allows you to check the entire delivery cycle. Uh, and as it says, it offers a smooth and intuitive way to track your, the entire shipping cycle and get notifications through the different stages. Like for example, when uh, the items are in, tra in transit or ready for pickup. And the way you do it is enable tracking and you have to send us your shipping or the shipping information, including the details of the carrier that manages your deliveries. And then this way they can communicate to you the delivery updates through the app. Uh, they integrate with hundreds of carriers to provide you with the best possible post-purchase experience and to identify you need to of course see who your uh, carrier is uh, such as DHL, UPS, FedEx, DPD and then national nationwide such as OnTrack, Australia Post, Canada Post, La Post or Correos and so on and so forth. To send the information once you've uh, identified it uh, you can send it through, uh, send it for one or multiple deliveries using the following endpoints of the order management API. Uh, you can either capture an order or add shipping information. The links are on this site, so make sure you get it and include the shipping shipping info parameter in your request. Uh, it's an array which requires two attributes, which is the shipping company and the tracking number. And once you do that, you can add more details if you would like for several for more than one delivery. And there are special cases such as non-trackable deliveries, non-physical products, own, uh, owning a delivery infra infrastructure, or picking up products at a store. And that is pretty much it. For other things, you just uh, validate your integration. And then if you have any other problems, you contact support. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.